Hi guys, Gamer Bear here. Right, we've just done the uh, the, the review of the FW190, so it's time to have a look at the uh, the ME109 TL and see if it's worth the money. So £35.67, it's a lot of money, it really is. So you get the plane, some Russian writing, the crew member, and 20% increase in the uh, in the experience that you get from battles. So I'm just going to purchase this and we will get in and have a look and see what it's like. Okay, we've got it. Let's get back to the uh, the game, have a look. Okay, this is the one we've literally just done. There we go. Got the uh, the 109TL and should be, there we go. Let's have that. Oh, that looks very very nice. So miter but I'm going to ignore that we're going to test it out without bombs or rockets. 20 and 30 mil cannons. So let's see how it compares. Let's call up the uh, the specs and see what this is like in comparison to the uh, the tier 8 with the British. Come on, let's find the Spitfire. So tier 8. There we go. Call that up and do a straight comparison with a really good plane. So survivability, very nice. It's 4,600 kilos. It's a, it's not quite as heavy as the Spitfire, but it's got. So you've, that must mean you've got more hit points with it, which is which is nice. Then the guns, 420 mils. This has got so 530 points compared to 726. So 420s. This has got 220s and 230s. I like the way that sounds. Then we come to the airspeed. So looking at these, what we've got. Airspeed 525, 391. What's not to like? Stall speed 120, stall speed 200. So you've got to watch out for that. That could be an issue. Rate of climb 60 compared to 62. The Spitfire climbs even faster. So it comes down to what the boost is like. It says good airspeed and good boost high airspeed and long lasting boost so we'll test that out maneuverability 1021 maneuverability 601 so almost twice as much well say say 40 additional 40 percent so t average time to turn 8.6 compared to 13.1 so it doesn't turn very well rate of roll 110 compared to uh, 100 so you really don't want to get into a dogfight because no matter what, you're still even even with the best rolling to try and get out of the situation, you will still be ten percent worse than a Spitfire uh, for, uh, fifth, yeah, fourteen. At best altitude, he's best at sixteen hundred meters. You're best at eighteen hundred meters. So we're we'll trying to stay up up at a higher level. So that gives us an idea of of where the niche is for this. So we'll get in. Let's get a uh, my pilot in. Let's put him on board and we'll get some basic equipment. Test this out with just very basic equipment. No specials, so we can see what it's like as a money maker. And just put the control surface. There we go. Oh, set that up. It's looking very nice. So we'll get in, see what this is like. With no rockets, no bombs. We'll just use it as the uh, as the fighter version and see what we can do with this. So the ME 109 TL, multi-role fighter, but I would say, well, I'm sure that the the standard, well, we want to know what it's like as a fighter first, because if it tries to do too much of one thing rather than another, from what I remember, wasn't it Hitler who said something along the lines that um, make sure that it can carry bombs, which meant that if it had been a straight fighter, it would have been more aerodynamic, certainly fast enough, or from from the stats it's fast enough so you need to if you get into trouble with something you boost away so it's a, it's more of a boom and zoom situation come down shoot them in the face and zip on through turn around come back rinse repeat so that's what we need to try and do with this and then we'll have a look at the uh, the ability of it to make money so we're gonna head towards the the forward airstrip see what we can do and take it to the uh, the enemy it's against heavier fighters uh, fighter bombers probably got a chance but against the likes of the uh, the Spitfire okay 
Oh, that looks nice. Sexy silhouette. And look at the, the, the boost coming in behind. So let's ping and let people know where I want to head. They don't have to go that way, but it's just letting them know where I'm going. Pilot, get ready for action. Let's, let's get in, go. let's get up. 15 seconds of boost. Let's check and see how far we can get, how high we can get, what the acceleration is like. So it's 660 kmh, wow. At tier 8, this is quite epic. 700, 2000 meters already. Very, very nice. Oh, look at those guns going off. Right, let's go down. We've almost overshot. <laughs> and at zoom, let's get away in case he comes in behind us. So boost away. Turn and come back and repeat. Let's look for the targets. A6 is going to be a nemesis in a dogfight. Zoom straight past, boost so he can't come in behind us. That's it, turn, repeat. Another A6. Boosting in on him. Zooming past so he can't come on my tail. One 900 meters that way. So we'll turn around this direction, bring it in. Let's go for him. Oh yeah, let's look for the other one now. Now it's getting a bit uh, better, let's see what we can do. Oh, he's coming, we can't, can't out-turn him, let's boost away. Bit of fire. Okay, let's turn and come back in. Let's go for the BF. That's what this is built for. Oh, great interceptor. Let's go for him. Oh, so let's have a look. Made no strategic. Oh, he's having a go. Let's see. Let's have a look. Two thousand points. Anything over two thousand points. We're roughly two thousand points per plane. Let's head here and let's get into the battle. So let's boost up to, to try and take him on. Boosting in to try and come in and capture him. He's pulling away. Let's keep him under observation. He's dangerous, so we want to stop him being able to come in on, on our teammates. He's got a similar play style to us. 800 meters. Come on, you know you want us boost. It's getting closer. He's trying to get away, but he can't. Turn, 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 turn. He, I think he crashed. Okay, try and help with him. Pilot is injured, let's get that sorted. Let's get away from here, someone's coming in. 
We need to boost, get away from here. Partner's injured again. Let's use this for cover. Oh, I was trying to use the cover. But we've distracted them. So he didn't crash, but he managed to... Uh, he's ta certainly taken some damage. So, let's get in. How do we do? 2,300. Not good, but strategically, we've helped the team to win because they were focusing on us, I think. So, let's go for this area. Just come in and get straight into the battle and see what we can do. Get straight in, help defend. We've got the points. We're going to win. And helping distract them and take it to them as much as we can. He's the one. Let's get him in, in our sights. Oh yeah. He's tough, he is very tough, but he's not tough enough. Boost, boost, boost. Let's get out of here. Use gravity. Use the boost. Coming up to 700 kmh. And that's one thing you can do. Boom and zoom. Get away and deal. Then come back afterwards and sort them out. Let's get back in. That's one thing this specializes in. If you're in trouble, just get out of there. Use gravity and just punch it. Yeah, you don't really want to be him. Punch it. Go, go, go. Boost, boost. Dive. Let's try and get away from him. That's it. Boost away. Yes. We'll be waiting for you back home. 5,000 points. It's okay. I know it, it doesn't, not, doesn't feel as good as the tier 7. Maybe if you had rockets, you could do more damage, uh, but then that, that would affect the, uh, the mobility and the acceleration, which you need to go with this. 137,000 on a game that doesn't, didn't seem so good. 6,000 experience, 137,000 credits. Not bad at all. So, mid-table. Let's double-check. So, top third. 5,000 points. It's not bad at all really isn't bad at all and that amount of credits it's a very nice uh, money maker it's not the greatest of planes now let's look so this is the bog standard plane with nothing added to it so what do you need so you need a little bit more you need something a bit more on target so I would say I know engine tuning you know it seemed a bit slow to uh, to catch up to the enemy. So I'd say you need a gyroscopic uh, gun sight to maximise your time on target. Engine tuning. I know that sounds a bit superfluous because you're so fast anyway. But it means you can just get out, get, get away from them, turn around and come back as quickly as possible. Plus a lightweight air airframe. Plus 3% manoeuvrability to allow you to turn better and bring the gun on target and maximise the engine tuning. So I, I think those three items plonked on this will turn it into a bit of a beast. 
it's a bit of a beast anyway and you saw that if you get into trouble you just boost away and there's no way they're ever going to catch you use gravity to help you accelerate just point it straight down and just get away as you saw and twist and turn from the side so they can't so they can bring minimum fire on you as you're getting away turn round and then get them in the sights for those thumping guns the 20 and 30 mils work very very nicely and as you saw the amount of credits you can make with it 137,000 is not bad at all you can hope for more but is there anything wrong with 137,000 credits I don't think so so uh, is it a good plane now let's look to see if it's worth it so let's look back at the uh, the price it's a lot of money it is a lot of it's a huge amount of money so 35 pounds 67 the difference between the tier 7 and the tier 8 price wise 14 pounds different for the amount that you can make and for the fun you can have to be in the in the battle the a8 felt better this is more specific is it a good plane yes it's good i i would give it a single pause from the bit it's definitely not a bad plane at all it gets one paw whereas this would get one and a half and that's without any kit on either of them straight out of the box straight in there playing this is a one and a half paw this is a single paw it's it's not up there it's a lot of money for the plane it's not the greatest but for the time that you spend you can earn you can gain get more experience for your crew and you can actually earn because the multiplier you will get more experience from uh, more credits let's check the uh, the last game so this got the uh, 137,000 whereas coming through the last one we got 103 so and if that's those are sort of average games then you've got the difference of about 35,000 credits if you want an additional 35,000 credits per game then it's worth getting this and that's it but out of the two the other one felt better so I can't say fairer than that is it a good plane definitely yeah definitely a good plane coming straight in and dealing with the enemy incredibly easily and you can run down the enemy and just take them from behind they they try running there's no way that they're going to get away you saw them trying to run they just couldn't and if you're in trouble you run away and they're not going to be able to catch you so the ME 109 TL is it worth it that's for you to decide it's a lot of money is it a good plane yes it's definitely a good plane and it looks so sexy German jet ME 109 TL tier 8 jet thank you so much for watching I'm the Gaming Bear. See you on the next one. Take care.